just in time to help with those New Year's resolutions to get healthier and lose weight. Natty Queen's Cuisine is taking Columbia by storm, offering their customized personal chef services and healthy eating culture. At a recent food tasting, I sat down with the Natty Queen herself, Chef Kat, to learn more about what inspired her to turn her passion into her um, profession. I got diagnosed with lupus in 2009. And if anybody knows anything about lupus, doctors don't know nothing about it. It's a mystery. So what they do, they throw you on medication, tell you to go to physical therapy, but you waste a lot of money, and you're still in pain. Um, since I started doing this in February, I am off all my NSAIDs. I don't take any pain medication. I just eat. If um, I'm swollen, I make grits, turmeric grits. God put food here to help us to where we don't have to take all this medication. I'm not saying don't go to the doctors. I'm not saying don't take your medication, but you don't have to take it too much. That's our service. That's, that's what we love to give people. Um, I love to make people happy with food. For the TheMinorityEye.com, I'm Michael Bailey, and this is The Social Report. And we're here at the Natty Queen's uh, first official tasting. How you doing, Kirsten? Hello, how are you? Do you prefer Kirsten or Kat? I'm Kat. Okay. Yes, that's not okay. So tell me a little bit, um, Natty Queens. Mm -hmm. What does the name mean? Um, initially, I had um, got a little notoriety for um, my strides, I guess, with natural hair. Um, and I started doing article writing oh, you for some website. And I had a little group, and we were called the Natty Queens. So it evolved when I started doing more cooking, and, and I was doing natural cooking and healthy cooking. So that's where it came about. Because everything, everything about my life lately, <laughs> from head to toe, is natural. So. Okay. So when you say healthy cooking now, are you um, vegetarian, or are you just cooking with no preservatives and stuff like that? Explain. What do, What are you classifying as natural? Um. Natural meaning everything. I, I believe in meatless Mondays. Um, no, I'm not a vegetarian. I, I love meat. Um, I can cater to a vegetarian and vegan diet. Um, I'm well versed in all. I'm a, I'm a foodie. So, yeah. It's, 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 it is a high, I'm a highly, I'm a Virgo. So, I'm highly adaptable. My cooking's highly adaptable. Only way it won't go is the fat thing. But it can go anywhere else. Okay, so tell us a little bit about your background and how did Natty Queens get started? What was your inspiration or your motivation to get up and, and start this, uh, to educate people about healthy eating? <clears throat> um, right out of high school, I, um, I got diagnosed with cervical cancer and uh, went through the rigmarole of going through chemotherapy and, excuse me, Excuse me. I'm um, taking a lot of medications and not liking to take medications. And that was my first exposure to um, holistic health. Um, I, I talked to a lot of holistic doctors. I had one doctor uh, that was in the Spartanburg area that exposed me to a lot of stuff that, um, you know, just eating healthy, like right, like kind of, right kind of seasonings and things like that. And I shocked my doctors. I am celebrating this year, as of February, being 10 years in remission from cancer. Um, I, I coined a phrase, I said, I'm God's comic relief because in 2009 I got diagnosed with lupus. So, and, and I'm not as young as I used to be, so my body's not bouncing back and, and, and other things like that. And it was, a, it was a depressing experience. And because I'm a single mother, working various jobs, we lived off a fast food diet. I got almost up to 260 pounds. My son was overweight, was not happy, was miserable, tired all the time, and got broke. So I did, my mother challenged me to an experiment of cooking my own food versus eating out. Not only was it cheaper, I was feeling better, and I was dropping weight. And you know, when you have lupus or any kind of uh, autoimmune disease, if you are overweight, the first thing they tell you is you need to lose weight, which is a joke in itself because they put you on steroids. If you're on steroids, you breathe in five pounds. So um, I had 
had to earn my way off my steroids. So once they stopped giving me steroids, they were still, you know, talking about my weight. So I went from Charleston rheumatologist to Charlotte rheumatologist, and they really weren't giving me the time of day. They just kept talking on my weight. Being a woman of color, the BMI chart is not for us. We don't fit into that mode. Yes, I, I was born with all that lower half. <laughs> so um, I, I, I got pissed off in layman's terms. And I said, I tell you what, give me a year. And when I come back at, a, at the weight, not so much the weight you want me to be, but because um, they can tell me 120 pounds or really. So um, I said, if I come back 150 pounds, you're going to have to treat me. You're going to have to pay attention to what I'm saying. The joke was on me like, because of when I started researching foods and supplements and spices, I was taking away my own symptoms. So I didn't really need to doctor. Um, my son dropped over 70 pounds. I've dropped over 80 pounds. I'm happy. Um, I don't like working out. I did this without working out, which I, I, I'm, I as I'm losing weight now, I, knew, I acknowledge I need to tone up and stop fighting it. So I stopped working out. I bought a Pilates chair. It's not made it out the box. <laughs> but um, yeah. So I mean, it's fun. I, I love it. I, I'm getting my friends, and my peers around me healthy. Everybody's losing weight, and they're getting on me because you need to work at somebody's restaurant. And you know, you, my my pastor was telling me, he's like, no, I just don't see you working for anybody else anymore. I see you working for you. He said, let your hobby make you money, lead you to God's promise. And this is just taking off so fast that I can't even. It's making my head swim, but I love it. So, tell me a little bit now, Natty Queens. You offer personal chef service. So, tell us a little bit about what all you offer the service and what type of service that does, that you provide for individuals or families. Um, after they make first contact, they fill out this very extensive questionnaire. We set up. Um, I look. I evaluate your personal questionnaire. If you have an ailment, I do research on the ailment and what what, I, what dietary needs you need. Um, I come to your home, we do the meat kitchen, which at the end of meat kitchen, you're going to love me or hate me, because I'm going to get rid of all the healthy things in your kitchen. And I found that unless you have a solid support system where the whole family is into it, you're not, it's not going to work for you. So I, I, I'm, I'm gauging those things when I come in, because, you know, you have to be ready for it, for you, for you to be able to do this. You have to be open for it. It's not something in our culture that is widely accepted. Um, you want to lose weight for vanity, but you're not thinking about the inside. So, you know, I, I weigh you, I measure you, and I cry with you. Because that is a very emotional experience. I'm about to tear up thinking about it, can't get on the scale. Um, and then we'll go through a meal plan, we'll go through your expectations, and what, what are you looking to achieve. And in my personal chef service, you have a cooking day where, you know, by Wednesday, it's disabled cooking day, for example, is Friday. By Wednesday, I send you your menu for the week. You approve it. Um, I do your shopping. I come to your home. I cook all your meals for the following week or the month, depending on what service you have, you want. Um, clean up. The only thing you have to do is heat up your food and get to the table and eat. Okay. Now, you said a natural hair, and you said you were natural. Mm -hmm. When I think of natural hair, I think of the afro or the dread. So you're saying that's not Revlon? That's so... This is me. The only thing this is Beijing. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is Beijing and this is the men's style. Okay, so yeah. is that uh, healthy hair? Is that part of mm -hmm. the holistically being healthy? Mm -hmm. There are a lot of foods that you can eat and supplement. Things you can drink that will make your hair and your nails grow. Um, I was fortunate enough when I was going through chemo, only the back of my hair came. I did lose my eyebrows, and I did lose hair off my legs. I don't even love that. But, <laughs> um, but this is the longest my hair has been since high school. So, uh, my hair was down my back when I graduated. Um, my, uh, just like most oncologists, they tell you go ahead and cut your hair off because it's more psychologically, you, you know, less shocking for you, your, your hair to grow off, grow back, or fall out when it's short. You know, you, I mean, <laughs> at any time. But you know how we say, like when we say, you can't grow it, sow it. So I, 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 I
formed a, a, a wig <laughs> uh, addiction. So no one really knew that my hair had fallen out. But um, yeah, I, I take a healthy dose of biotin in the morning. Um, I drink cram water um, and milk thistle. And I, I normally do wear my hair in the curly afro because it's just easier. Um, uh, but I blow it out every now and then to see how long it's gotten. And this is just blowing my mind. So. And I'm all about simplistic everything. So even the straightening, when I was younger, straightening would take three, four hours. I found a way to do it in an hour. If somebody wanted to uh, reach you to uh, get more information uh, about Natty Queens, how would the website, phone number? Um, um, right now, um, we are formulate, forming our, our website to tackle all aspects of natural wolf living. But right now, we have Natty Queens Cuisine. Okay. Com. Um, our email address is natty, N A T T Y, queen1120 at gmail.com. And you can contact me by phone, 803 250 6078 247. You're always accessible. Yeah, we have a, ni a nice network of, uh, we have a VP, we have me, we also have a Charlotte affiliate, and then we also have a Natty Keys. Okay. Well, uh, Kirsten, a cat, thank <laughs> you uh, for taking the time to talk thank with you. us. The Social Report is produced by TME Production and distributed by the Minority Eye, affiliates of TME Media Group.